Hi, this is Tom Jacobs uh, from tdjacobs.com and also healingsuicide.com. And um, I do different kinds of healing work or work to help you come into balance and clear the past and release debris. Um, this is the first of, well, actually, this little intro is going to be in common with four videos. And I want to have a uniform introduction to these videos. Now, the videos will be about an hour long each, and they will have be audio only once the introduction is over. <clears throat> and they are a series of four 60-minute MP3s called Processing Trauma and Grief Sessions. And in 2014 or 2015, I recorded these and did energy work channeling Ascended Master Jehudi, also known as Hermes, Thoth, St. Germain, Merlin, and also Archangel Metatron, to go deeper into, over a series of four hour-long calls, deeper into the terrain where these residues and blocks, these very painful things exist. So a couple of introductory notes, and if you're, you've already seen this intro and you know what this is, go ahead and feel free to skip ahead. But I want to make sure that if you happen across number three or number four, that you have this intro. Number one, if you've never done a meditation that I've created, go play with the grounding meditation that's a free download from tdjacobs.com. On the homepage, look for a forest, a, a path, forest trail picture, a green picture. You can download that for free. It's a 13 minute guided, essentially a guided meditation to help you get in your body. Okay, number one. Number two, once you're comfortable with that process, I encourage you to check out the 22 20 minute channel meditations that I've been giving away for free to people. I'm accepting donations for, for those things as well as for this. Um, but if you can't, you're just available to everybody. And if you want to get, send me some energy back, of course, I, I, I welcome uh, the, the support. Um, <clears throat> play with the 22 channeled energy work meditations, which are kind of, you could treat them as introductions to a deeper process. And in other words, I encourage you not to dive in and do all four of these 60 minute MP3s or these, you know, that are videos because they might, they might not be the right introduction. They're kind of a deeper process. Now, it wouldn't be the end of the world if you did them out of order, but they were designed in a particular order, one through four. And uh, it'll be very obvious in each of the videos what you're, what you're looking at. I just encourage you strongly to ease into the process to get to know the grounding meditation, number one, number two, the 22, or some of them. You don't have to do all 22. But I want you to realize that over the years, I've been creating some tools, some of which are more, I don't know, accessible, easier entry points, right? But this processing trauma and grief sessions, these four 60 minute MP3s, they're not the introduction. So, okay. So that said, as with any energy work or channeled MP3s, they aim to alter your consciousness. So do not listen to these MP3s while you are driving or operating a forklift or a backhoe or flying an airplane. It's a joke. Um, do these things lying down in comfortable clothing when you have some time to process after. These are not toys. They're very serious tools. So that said, your consciousness may be affected. Parts of you under the surface who carry trauma and grief, very deep residues of difficult things, may be activated. That's why I want you to get used to the grounding meditation first, get used to being in your body, and then play with the 20-minute ones, which are which are which can get you connected to the energies of these two beings before you are taken into the depth of these. I'm not trying to warn you away from them. I'm trying to give you a manual for how to approach them. So if you're seeing this video, these four 60 minute MP3s are now free to download at tdjacobs.com. And in the description of each of these four videos, I'll put them here. But I realized that doing it on YouTube is a great way to reach more people. But of course, then I have to have an intro because anybody can stumble upon them. It's not like you are reading 
on my website something where I can con control the, the information you receive before you get them. So I strongly encourage you to do this, but again, start with the grounding process, then go to the 22 channeled uh, energy work MP3s, then play with these. Um, the reason that I do this stuff, essentially, this is a result of me processing my own stuff and working with things. So, um, so the reason I do this is to help you help yourself. But then I encourage you to realize that you must become a conscious operator of your own emotions. That's why I emphasize the grounding process and really learning how to listen to parts of you and get used to receiving energy work. Now, as far as those four MP3s and here, this video being one of the four, um, you can listen to it once. You can put it on and then you might fall asleep. That's normal. But listen to it once. Listen to it again a week or two later or a month later. Don't rush through them. Don't say, oh, well, I have six hours. So I can't today. So I can listen to all four of them. I strongly discourage you from doing that because they are geared toward a, a certain kind of arc of a, a, pro, a process, an arc of development. So do one, monitor your body, deal with the effects, see if there are effects, see if you're really tired or some part of you is antsy or something. You know, they talk about the effects on the MP3s. Take care of yourself. And then you'll, don't pressure yourself, but then you'll know later, oh, maybe I'll try the second one. So if you download all four, just, you know, be intentional. Be self-caring. You might have had something really pressing that's dogged you for a long time, and you say, I want to rush through all of them. I encourage you strongly to moderate it and realize that little changes over time are your best bet for making long-term, serious, lasting progress. Nothing goes away overnight. There's no magic bullet. There's no magic pill. But you integrating parts of you that have carried such pain or trauma or grief, whatever. So I offer these in the spirit of you becoming more conscious of operating yourself as a human. And again, if you want to send some energy back my way, I'll include the, the links here and there. Take care of yourself. And I hope that these are helpful. Let's begin with tonight's session. Please close your eyes and get yourself comfortable and let your breathing be easy and relaxed but full. And do a scan of your body. See what it feels like in different parts of your body. Notice where there may be tension and decide that it's okay to let it go. I want you to decide before we even really get started that you are stronger than pain and fear that you may experience or remember, that you may feel. And I want you to reassert a commitment to confront or allow all parts of yourself to come to you, to come to the surface one by one when the time is uh, right when needed in order to work with them intentionally. I'd like for you to set the intention for this session to receive the support and guidance that is ready to come to you both from us and your own spirit guidance team. So invite them in and thank them in advance for all they do. Thank us in advance for what we will do for you this evening. Also set the intention to shed during the opening part, when we ask you, to shed the energies of other people that you may have picked up recently. And 
Then three more decisions before we uh, send cords into the earth. The first one is, decide that you are willing to see all that is in your life and has been in your life as evidence of support. The next one, decide that you are willing and able and ready to say yes please and no thank you when appropriate in your life. And the third one, decide all of my choices lead to self-care and self-respect. Now send cords from the bottoms of your feet and your root chakra down into the earth, and on your inhales, begin breathing the energy of the earth up into your body fully and deeply, thanking the earth for being available to you 24-7 to do this. Let this energy spread and reach all parts of your body. Decide that you are willing to open all parts of your body to be affected by this energy all at the same time. All parts of your body together. Now decide that any stress or tension that's come up today or the last few days or weeks, decide you're willing to let it go and allow it to, on your exhales, relax itself down into the earth and thank the earth for receiving this excess energy. Decide that you are willing to view with clarity what it is that makes you feel disempowered. And I want you to understand that making a commitment to do so, which we'll ask you to do in a moment, does not mean you will be lost in what is seen as negativity or darkness. But I want you to be willing to see any and all parts of you, including those, especially those, who carry the fear and the pain of disempowerment through trauma, grief, loss, injury, abuse, anything. I want you to make a commitment to yourself that you are willing to let this willingness to see all parts of you become a normal and natural part of your day-to-day, week-to-week life. Now I want you to decide that you are willing to allow the vibrations coming through the channel's voice now and during the rest of this session to affect you in positive ways. And I'd like for you next to, if you are open to having us, Metatron Jehudi and the channel, step into your space to do this work for you, To have this vibration really enter your space, to have us step into your energetic field, including your body, say yes please if you would like to do that, and no thank you if you would not. Please decide that you are willing to trust your radar, your internal radar, for when something is good for you and when something isn't good for you. And I want you to decide that you can always say yes or no if you change your mind 
but right now I want you to surrender to the vibration coming through the channel's voice. I want you to relax and open to the vibrations coming through the channel's voice now and during this call. We're going to deepen into this uh, space within your energetic field and consciousness or unconscious as it happens. We're going to uh, take this to another level today. In the first call, we descended into it and gave you tools and asked you to make a number of important decisions. In the second one, we went back, but then we added quite a lot of heart energy. Today we're going to go a little deeper than the first time, in one way. We will employ the heart, but it will be a new, deeper level now that you've experienced the first two sessions. Now you are ready to do what we are going to do now and in the fourth one next week. I want you to decide that you are willing to surrender to the truth of who you are. I want you to realize that you are body, mind, heart, soul, spirit, consciousness. And I want you to decide that you're willing to be all of those things, to allow all parts of you, all aspects of self to exist and to function and to work together toward a shared goal. And I want you to decide that that shared goal among the different aspects of yourself is going to be, or is, what is in your highest good. What serves you? Next, I want you to decide that your mind will serve the rest of you. I want you to decide that the job of your linear logical mind is to support the mission of heart, soul, and spirit. So I want you to decide you are willing to listen to your thoughts, to hear them, to know how your brain works and what it has to say. But I want you to commit that your mind is uh, not the final arbiter on every aspect of your life. I'm breathing full of the energy of the earth up in your body, surrendering to the vibration coming through the channel's voice, knowing that you can always say no, no thank you if it doesn't work for you. But I want you to deepen into this sense of relaxing into surrender to the vibration coming through the channel's voice. Breathing fully the energy of the earth up into your body until further notice. We want this to become second nature for you. We want you to make decisions every day in your life, not based in the fears of your mind because of uh, sadness or fear or trauma or abuse, but to make decisions based in how things vibrate within your field and your body. Your energy field and your body have a yes-no answer set. Those are possible answers. Your brain will confuse things with much explanations. How you tell the difference is, you say, is uh, such and such in my highest good? And if the answer is, 
yes, no, or maybe, or not now, maybe later, that might be your body and your energy field. If the answer is an essay, pro or con, that is your mind. And honestly, your mind doesn't know that much relative to what's in your highest good. Now we're going to begin spinning the root chakra. Image this root chakra within you spinning. Any direction that feels right. It's a pretty slow speed normally. Add the second chakra. At the same speed in the same direction, it will naturally go. And now add the third chakra. The third chakra, the solar plexus in the belly, is the seat of personal power. And regardless of what it is that has happened to you in the past, you can, in any given moment, choose to step into the present moment and exercise personal power to fix it, to heal it. Trauma and grief can relate to any chakra. There can be different things stored in various parts of your energy field and your body regarding these uh, life issues and what causes them. But much of the remedy to come out of things involves your third chakra. Decide right now, I alone define who I am. As you breathe the energy of the earth up into your body, bring it up to the first and then the second and then the third chakra. And on your exhales, just relax, filling up the third chakra on all of your inhales. Filling up all three lower chakras actually on the inhales. I want you to decide once again that you are willing to see all that has been in your life and is in your life as serving a purpose. Decide once again that you are willing to listen to all parts of you who need to speak, including through feeling. Decide that everyone within you is welcome. Decide that you are no longer willing to leak energy, avoiding your feelings. Decide you are no longer willing to leak energy, avoiding your thoughts and your conceptions and your ideas.
decide that you are no longer willing to leak or lose energy by living out others' ideas of who you are. Realize that in the root chakra, there are expectations about who you are to be from groups of which you are part. And in the second chakra, there are expectations of who you are or who you should be based in your relationships with individual others of all kinds, all kinds of relationships. These are critically important experiences. But when it comes down to it, you must decide who you are and choose to belong and have roots and be part of a community and a family. And when it comes down to it in the end, you must decide who you are and have relationships with others who reflect to you how they see you. But where the power of self-definition lies is in your third chakra. Now decide that you are willing to own all aspects of yourself. Decide you are willing to make friends with all pieces of self. And decide that you are no longer willing to leak energy through avoiding being whole. Decide that you are stronger than fear and pain other parts of you may feel. Now, decide that you are no longer willing to lose energy through complaint, verbal or otherwise. Decide that you're willing to accept all that has happened to you and all that is in your life as serving a purpose which your brain may or may not understand, but is important. Next, hmm. next, decide to welcome back all energies that belong to you that have been spent or on loan or borrowed by other people. All parts of self, past and present, that are not owned, that may have left, and all energies of yours that may be on loan to other people, two categories of things. They will want to come back to the third chakra or through the third chakra back into your energy field. Decide you are no longer willing to leak energy through being fragmented.
decide that you do not need protection from different parts of you who are here or may come back. I want you to decide that you are willing to do whatever it takes to welcome back pieces of self and energies that want and need to return in order for you to be whole. Now take a moment and focus again on the cords into the earth and breathing slowly and deeply and fully the energy of the earth up into your body. Thanking the earth for being available to interrupt the uh, control strategies of mind 24-7. Scan your body again. Be aware of what it feels like in every part of your body. Will you find tension or any pain or disturbance of any kind? Breathe into it. Draw the energy of the earth to that part of your body. Realize that all things are temporary and realize that your body wants to speak to you about what may be moving under the surface. Sometimes when we do this uh, kind of work, we find our immunity compromised for a few days. We have a little bug or a cold or something. Root chakra is related to immunity. As you move something out of any chakra, in fact, it will, uh, the energy field will seek to stabilize uh, under a process of diffusion. And something gone may make you feel free, and something gone may make you feel a little imbalanced for a day or two or three as things get settled. So listen to your body always, not just when you are engaged in this kind of meditative energy work. These kinds of uh, inner spelunking processes, but all the time listen to the body. Make your body your friend. Listen to it without fear. Now at this point, decide that any debris that's ready to go can go down through the cords into the earth. Any energies that belong to other people, any old ideas of who you are or should be or should have been, gather those in the center of your field. You can swirl it all together into a little tornado kind of thing or the image we, we've been using uh, lately through the channel is a uh, cotton candy type little uh, fluffy tornado cloud thing, gathering that up in the center of your field, deciding you cannot possibly use old ideas, the energies of other people, your old expectations or their expectations of you to tell you who you are going forward. Gather them all up, send this down through the cords into the earth and thank the earth for receiving these energies.
We're pausing for a moment. Just keep breathing the energy of the earth up in your body. Take a moment to relax a little bit. Now please consider what uh, something, a life issue, a memory, a pain, a challenge that may have uh, come up for you either just before beginning to listen to this series of MP3s or calls or since you heard the first one. The channel's experience has, beginning a week prior to the first session, an issue came up. Then, between the first and second sessions, a second issue came up, and then a third. And following this session today, probably a fourth, to give him a tour of different things regarding the themes we are discussing and working on in this uh, series of sessions that he needs to look at. Now, for some of you, it may be like that, a tour. And for others of you, there may be one loud issue. Either way, I want you to think of something that has come up for review and processing. Something you have perhaps been somewhat challenged to continually decide that you are stronger than the pain or the fear that you may experience, as we ask you to do numerous times. Consider this issue. And I want you to see that you have not become lost in it. Maybe more downtime has been needed. Maybe more sleep. Maybe more a feeling and moving energy through speaking or crying. But you have not been lost. And I want you to realize that as energies still come back to you, that process we began a few minutes ago continues. And it will continue for a couple of days probably. That's the normal speed. We open the door and we leave it open. And the parts of you that should come back do one by one in turn. But as that continues to happen, you will find parts of you that maybe don't know that you can choose through generating love, heart energy, that you are stronger than fear and pain. So whatever you have been dealing with, you may find it a bit more challenging in the next few days to maintain that steadiness or to decide that you are stronger than pain or fear. Amp up your efforts. Stick with it. Because parts of you that carry grief, trauma, pain, abuse, disempowerment, sadness, depression, they may come back as a result of our work today. So you may think, wow, I was doing so well with this a week, ten days ago, but now it just seems so hard. I want you to realize that that is normal and part of the process. We are asking you to step up your willful assertions that everything's fine, and that you are stronger than grief and pain. You are stronger than trauma. You are stronger than fear. You are stronger than regret and shame and guilt that may be in your field. Because you can generate positive energy that soothes everything and fills in all the gaps and cracks by generating love. You are in charge of deciding what things mean. This narrative attached to your life history why did this thing happen? What does my brain say? Well, let me open to another perspective. Let me see how this important scenario that was painful actually served me in my highest good. You are in charge of this definition and you are in charge of how you feel. Things will come up. And parts of you will advise you at times. If you are willing to feel this, we are done for. 
because they do not have the tools that you have. So make a commitment right now to remain and come back to being aligned with the part of you that knows the difference, the part of you that can get grounded, the part of you that gets something very great from getting grounded on a regular basis and doing work like this. Commit to aligning with this part of you. Some of these parts of you will not want to give up. We want to be very fair and clear to let you know how this works. Because you have been deepening into this kind of space and making all of these wonderful decisions that we ask you to make, you are preparing the ground. You are uh, uh, pruning the landscape. You are. Uh, setting something up on the landscape and the playground to make room for more parts of you who need to adapt to these tools, more parts of you to come back so that you can, in fact, become more whole. So decide once again that you are stronger than pain and fear that may come up and that you are willing to be loving toward all parts of you And now as you draw the energy of the earth up in your body, bring it up to your fourth chakra. And on your exhales, gently relax, open that fourth chakra, generating fourth chakra loving energy because you choose to. Now until further notice on every inhale, you're doing the same thing, breathing the energy of the earth up in your body. And on every exhale, you are gently relaxing open the fourth chakra. Avoid the white cord of light that the channel has taught for this moment, but use uh, just a general field of fourth chakra energy emanating from this uh, part of your field and body. Decide once again that you are stronger than pain and fear that you may carry or experience. On every inhale, I want you to follow the energy up through your feet and root up to your heart. On every inhale, as we ask you to make these decisions, trace this pathway on every inhale. Now I want you to decide again to own all parts of you and approach them with compassion. Wanting to decide to own all of your experiences as co-creations. Decide once again to view all parts of yourself with compassion. With acceptance. Without judgment. Decide that you are willing to become empowered through forgiveness. Decide that you are willing to own your power through letting things go.
the side you are willing to own the truth of your power of creation by owning everything that's happened to you as a co-creation. Realize that everything you have experienced, you have helped make happen in order to serve your journey of soul as a human. Decide once again that you are willing to feel all you can and do feel. And decide that you are willing to be yourself fully and without apology. Now decide once again any debris, and the energies of others, old ideas, expectations, fears, beliefs, resistances. Decide that none of these can tell you who you are going forward. Gather them in the center of your field in whatever imagery you choose, but gather them together. And send them down through the cords into the earth, and thank the earth for receiving these energies. Decide that you are willing to own your participation in the places and people you come from. Decide you are willing to own your participation in your relationships past and present. And decide that you are willing to own your choices past and present with compassion. Decide once again that you are willing to let go of disempowering meanings attached to your experiences. I want you to decide you're willing to let go of the meaning that you may have attached to important deaths of those you love. To deaths of important people in your life is the best way to say it. Decide you are willing to shed the meaning your brain may have attached from pain or through pain on those situations. We would like for you to understand that there is no such thing as an accidental or untimely death. We would like for you in time to make peace with this truth. For some of you, what needs to be grieved or the trauma that needs to be dealt with is in fact about your own other life deaths. The remnants of which, the markers of which, are in your emotional bodies, your energetic field, and your body now. I want you to work with this, this imagery. There is no such thing as an accidental or an untimely death. I want you to realize 
I want you to uh, open to the image of this truth that a person is born when a chapter of the soul's journey is to be uh, played out. And that a person dies one way or the other when that chapter is complete. Regardless of what was said and wasn't uh, healed or what wasn't said but needed to be, regardless of what project was in the works or what goal was on deck, regardless of who is left behind, Realize there is no such thing as an accidental or an untimely death from all that is, is perspective, from the soul's perspective, from the view of the divine. Continue breathing the energy of the earth and follow it up from your feet and your root up to your heart, gently opening that heart. Continue doing that exercise as we explain these things to you. Essentially, we desire that you come to a place in your life at which you can accept everything with peace. We do not want you to be stoic or so detached that you are not feeling. Because one of the missions your soul has to live a life through you is to learn more about this feeling business, energy and emotion and feelings. But ideally, you can take anything in your life that has hurt you, that has caused grief, frustration, anger, that has been abusive or been traumatic and affected you, Ideally, you can take anything like that and accept it as serving your highest good. Not because that's a convenient way to put your head in the clouds or your head in the sand. But because you are willing to adapt your conception of who you are and what is happening in your life to the logic of soul, which is the logic of the divine. And soul has no illusions that pain, that abuse, that trauma do not exist or should not exist. You are here to learn to feel. You are here to learn to make choices. You are here, in fact, to learn to go from making choices based in fear to choices based in love. So we want you, in general, to be prepped or primed, always, to process what comes up within your field, intentionally, by willing yourself to be open to feel whatever the effect is, whatever the result has been, and to adapt to the logic of soul in how this has served your journey. How this has taught you about being a person and dealing with feelings. Making choices based in fear into a state of making choices based in love. I want you to decide now that you are willing to soothe any and all parts of you who speak through pain and fear with love, with acceptance and compassion. Beginning on the next exhale, relax open that fourth chakra even more relaxing it open. 
deciding that you are safe enough to relax. Now we want you to breathe in from above and below simultaneously. If you have not practiced at this, what you do is breathe in through the, the crown, the seventh chakra, the top of your head for a few moments, and then do both together. If you are practiced, begin doing both together. Simultaneously, bringing this energy to your fourth chakra, above and below, very different filters, very different energies and breathing out through your heart chakra. Aligning yourself with above and below. Creating a column of your body and energy field. Vastly different vibrations from root to crown chakras. Vastly different lenses through which energy is filtered. All the different life arenas fit within the seven chakras. We want all of these aligned together now. And we're going to ask you to repeat some things. Decide that you are willing to meet all pain and fear with love and acceptance and compassion. Decide that you are willing to own all aspects of yourself and your experiences. Decide that you are willing to see those experiences as supportive of your highest good and co-creations. Decide that you are willing to see how it is that you are welcome here and an integral part of the uh, consciousness ecosystem on the planet. You are a divine being who's here for a reason. You are welcome here. You belong. Now decide that you are willing to listen to others, but not always take everything literally about what they tell you about you. And then decide that you are committed to saying yes please and no thank you when appropriate in your life. Decide that you are willing to shed shame guilt, regret, and self-doubt as you accept yourself as a work in progress, learning how to make the right choices as you go. Decide that all of your choices are based in self-respect and lead to self-care. Decide that you're willing to uh, feel all you can feel, process old emotions, and take care of your own needs. Decide you are willing to meet pain and fear, self-doubt, regret, anger with love and everything else with a heart opening compassion. And decide you're willing to train yourself to do so.
Next, decide that you are willing to align with what is best and true for you. Decide that you are willing to use your energy to serve a purpose that matters to you. And decide that you are willing to accept the truth of why things happen the way they do. Even if you don't always understand it. Next, decide that you are willing to see clearly and see through the illusions of the linear logical mind to see the truth. Decide you are willing to balance the two sides of your mental self. One is action-oriented, one is uh, creative-oriented. Receptive and responses versus, versus uh, working. Decide you're willing to allow both parts of you to be right, or to be true. That nobody's right all the time, but both parts are true. And lastly, decide that you are willing to surrender to what is true for you. Decide you are willing to find out in what ways you are already connected, that you belong here, connected to the species, connected to your community, a welcome part the divine fabric of life on earth. A few more deep breaths from above and below, breathing out through your heart, relaxing up in this heart center. Decide that anything that has come up the last few minutes that's ready to go, any bits of debris, the energies of other people, decide you cannot possibly use these energies to tell you who you are going forward. Gather them in the center of your space. You don't even have to catalog them or know what they are. Just will, through this decision, to be free of what does not belong to you and what does not serve you. What cannot coexist with the vibrations we have brought to you in this session gathering everything up in the center of your field and sending it down through the cords into the earth. Be grateful to the earth for receiving this energy. Now imagine in turn each chakra from the root, first chakra spinning, move up to the second chakra spinning, continue breathing as you were, but now third chakra spinning, now fourth chakra spinning, fifth chakra which is in the throat spinning, sixth chakra which is a uh, uh, eyes, forehead, ears, brain area, spinning, and then seventh chakra, lastly spinning, and now do them all at once.
Decide once again that you are willing to let go of everything that doesn't serve you, everything disempowering, everything that keeps you upset or frustrated, anything that keeps you from being whole and unapologetically yourself. We're beginning to ease out of this process. Please thank your guides for coming in to support you. They are always with you. Please thank us. Anything the channel may have loaned to you inadvertently, he calls back to himself. Anything he may have borrowed from you by mistake, he gives back to you. Please echo that from your own perspective. As usual, you can interact with Jehudi and Metatron whenever you like through using this recording or if you have a separate relationship, of course. If you know these, uh, how to find these radio stations that we blend together for you during these uh, calls. And be in touch to the channel with questions or comments about your process. He is happily willing to support you in, you know, listening but also answering questions, whatever you need. This is a rather intense process. It can be. Thank you for your time and energy, and we will speak to you again in session four. Goodbye.